everybody. Welcome to my kitchen. And guess who's here? First time in almost five years. He came in the other morning and surprised me. So I'm going to learn all mom's recipes with her. Yes, we're going to have so much fun. I'm so blessed to have him here today. Anyway, he's going to be home for almost a week, I guess. Anyway, today we're going to be making fudge. No, we're not. We're going to be making caramels. Start to say fudge, but we'll do that later. Anyway, we're going to be making caramels today, and he gets to stir them the whole time. And um, we're going to start out, we have two sticks of butter, half a pound of butter in our pan already. And Greg's going to go over there and melt that and stir that so it don't stick and burn. I'm the sous chef today. <laughs> oh, caramels are so much fun to make. You have to stand and stir, but that's okay. Anyway, they stick real easy and they, they will burn. So, but caramels are delicious. And one way to keep them from burning is, as you can see, she's using a heavy bottom pot. You can't just use a flimsy pot because oh. your sugar and everything candy will burn. And they definitely will burn. This recipe was Greg's great-grandmother's. She used to make this every Christmas. I love making this with her. And she would take it and make it, and then she would cut them and wrap every piece individually for the family. And she'd have some for everybody to take home with them. She would probably make 10, at least 10 to 20 batches. I don't know how that lady did it, but she did. So we're going to melt the um, butter. Then we're going to add two cups of sugar to it. And after we do that, we're going to get that mixed in. Then we're going to add two cups of white taro syrup. Yeah. I should have probably sprayed this first. It would have come out easier. But we'll just use a spatula. Okay. We used to live right down the street, less than a half a block from Grandma. And Greg enjoyed going down there and getting in trouble getting in her cherry tree. Oh, yes. all time for that. oh that was so he would climb that tree and get in trouble because Grandpa didn't like him climbing the tree. But he did. All right, so I'm here for 20 minutes. Well, you're there in that spot for five. Okay. Once it starts boiling, you're going to stir it for five minutes. And while he's doing that, I am going to add about a half a can of Eagle Bran to my half a cup of flour. And that's the sweet and condensed, not the evaporated milk. Sweet and condensed. Nice and sugary milk. Mm, yes, but I took all the calories out. No biggie. The reason we do this is so that the flour gets all mixed in because we don't want any little white lumps of flour in it. Maybe it's a good time for me to tell a story. When we were younger and mom would make homemade ice cream, she didn't temper her eggs when she put it in the uh, ice cream. And when you don't temper your eggs and you put them in the hot mix, you get little bitty chunks of yellow where the eggs actually scramble. And I asked her, I said, what kind of ice cream is this? And she lied. She said it was pineapple. So you always have to temper your eggs and make sure your flour is mixed in real well. Just thought I'd tell that little story. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Yeah, that's okay. He bought it for a while until he get into one little piece and it tasted kind of funny. Then I told him the truth, but that's okay. Okay, so this is melted, but it's not boiling. We gotta wait till it's melt boiling for five minutes. It's gotta boil for five minutes. Okay. All right, we'll be back as soon as we get this boiling. Okay, so it is boiling, okay. and we're going to go for five, five minutes, minutes now. Uh -huh. Okay. 
month's got a little timer here, so I'm timing it on that. So we'll be back in about five minutes. Okay, so we got five minutes of the boiling butter and sugar and white caro syrup. Now we're doing. Now we're going to add a half a cup of flour that I have already mixed um, a half a can of our uh, Eagle brand condensed milk in, and we're going to put that in here with our cooking mixture. It's very thick, but you have to do that in order to get all the lumps out of it. And we're going to stir that in real good. And then we're also going to add in the rest of our milk. Now it's going to take us at least 20 minutes, maybe even longer, usually 20 minutes to stir and have this set up. So, so I'm going to be stirring for the next 20 minutes. And what we're really doing is bringing this up to 238 degrees, which is softball stage. You swing back over here so you guys can see me right here. We're going to do 238, but mom doesn't use a cooking thermometer. She uses the old fashioned way with ice water and putting it in, just seeing how it thermes up. That's the way I have the option to do it. So if you have a candy thermometer, put that in, bring it up to 238 degrees, then you're good to go. Now it may need adjustment depending on your altitude and the humidity. If it's raining outside, my grandma said you don't like caramels. Um, don't know if that's no wise tale, but I don't tempt it. So it's not raining and sunny. You can see through the blinds a little bit there. So I'm just gonna stand here for the next 20 minutes once it comes to a boil and stir until she tells me we're at the right stage. So we'll be back. this now. One good thing about testing it, I'm going to keep stirring it though, is when you test it, you get a taste that yeah, it's setting up nice, it's getting nice and firm, making a nice ball there. Hmm. Oh, that's so good. And chewy. Mm. She took over. Mm. Are we close to the... We're close. A couple more minutes, I think. And we're also... Here, um, Greg, I'll let you have it. Also, we're going to do two things here instead of just one since I got so much help <clears throat> we're going to make some gophers also four turtles depends four on who turtles depends on who you are where you're from um, I'm putting cans down on a cookie sheet we're going to drop some of our and uh -oh. Here we go. Drop some of our pecans down on our cookie sheet. And um, then we're going to put our caramel on it. And then we're going to put our chocolate on it. Now, I keep my pecans 
especially now, as expensive as they are, I think I paid sixteen dollars for that bag. Um, we're going to drop some of our peach caramel on this, and then we'll shake it off a little bit and put chocolate on it, and um, we'll have caramels, and we will also have our gophers, turtles. Anyway, they'll be delicious. Okay. Here, we're going to check this. And I have already prepared my pan to put this in. Um, I put um, some paper in it, some, and then I also put a little bit of spray on it so that it didn't stick too bad. Because you don't want your caramel sticking to your pan. Oh, I think we're done because it's, it, yeah, I know we are, yeah, we're done. You want to turn it off and just let it set for a couple minutes here. And I'm going to put the, I'll hmm, get that last part, put a little bit of vanilla and some butter in it. I think I've got my island slid too close to the stove. When you put that vanilla in, it is going to steam up and bubble up a little bit. So just be prepared for that. It's not going to come real high, but it will have a little effect on it. Yeah, so be careful. You don't want to get burnt. I'm going to let that set there for a couple minutes with that. But I have my pan prepared here for it. Okay, do you want this off the heat now? Yes, please. I'm going to set it right here. Stir that a little bit, make sure it's good. I'll take it off for you. Oh, I got it. Oh, that smells so yummy. Mm. Now I'm a cleanup guy. Yep. Okay. You want to pour some in that bowl? In this bowl? Mm -hmm. And don't get burnt. She's already got this butter. Okay. okay, that's about enough. Okay, and then we're just letting this set. We're gonna let that set for a while and probably take three or four hours. But we don't refrigerate it. Mm -mm. Okay, so I'll put this on the counter back yeah. here. And we're just gonna let it set and harden. And then we'll just scoot this over here so y'all can see what she's going to do with these pecans. But do you need a different spoon? Yeah, I just need what do you a, want? No, um, just a tablespoon maybe. Okay, these aren't big. This size? Um, I don't know what all she has in her drawers. Okay, here. I'll bring that. There we go. This one? Yeah, that'll work. Just I'll hold it like this and you can come around and start just put a small amount on each for each one. And that's not a small amount. Oh. Boy, he likes them when he puts that much on one. Yeah, I forgot to tell her I was coming. It was a surprise. So what did she do? Oh. She made all the caramels for me. She made turtles, gophers, whatever you call them, and sent them to my house and they got there after I left. So maybe one of the neighbors or someone will be nice and take them in. I don't know. Or maybe someone will be nice and eat them. Yeah, that's more like the point. Well, I hope whoever gets them enjoys them. Time for sharing. I don't share my candy. <laughs> well, you may be now. But I was shocked. I mean, I was shocked. Ouch! Okay, that is hot. That's hot. Mm -hmm. I told you to not Don't burn touch yourself. the side. My caramel is scalding hot. Okay, I'm running out of spots. Well, <laughs> let's um, 
Let's put some of this over here. A little bit more there. A little bit more up here. Oh, we have this. I think we got everything out of here almost that we can get. Oh, no, no, no. There's plenty in there yet. None of it will go to waste, trust me. Okay, I'm gonna grab that. My youngest grandson used to help me do this. He always, always stirred it for me. And this year he's at work and couldn't help me. Okay, the rest of the pan is for me to eat as it cools. So we'll set this aside once this caramel is set up. We'll be back, we'll put it on the chocolate. We'll see you in a bit. Okay, we're back and we're putting chocolate fudge on top of our turtles that are really, really big. I think my son was thinking about how big he wanted them. Of course I was. Um, they should be about half the size. My doctor uh, told me I need to watch my cholesterol and sugar intake and I should only have like one or two of things. So I'm going to have one, just one big one. It works. Okay. Whatever you say. But once she gets all this chocolate on, we're just going to let it set up. Once it's set up, we can actually pick them up and all the extra pecans that are not stuck to the candy, just put back in the bag and use for another recipe. So these are our gopher turtles that she's done. And I'm going to leave these five go like that for a little bit. And I'm going to melt some white chocolate on those uh, because a couple of them in the family like white. So that's what we're going to do. So let this sit up to three or four hours. You'll know when it's done. You can cut it, wrap it in cellophane if you like, or uh, wax paper, whatever you'd like. These you can just put in a dish with some wax paper in between each one. And that's mom's and great grandma Blanche's and grandma Jean's caramels that we always have for Christmas. And I thank you very much for joining us. And at least Greg and I finally get to be in the same kitchen now cooking and we'll be bringing you a lot more recipes this week together. Thank you bunches for joining us. See you guys soon. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.